Welcome one, welcome all to the grand rebirth of Shaman. Cool. <laughs> right before this mini expansion, it was clearly the weakest class, but Primal Dungeoneer has really opened the realm of possibility that Shaman could be great. I mean, now you have a three mana two three that draws you two cards. That's pretty good. And also, Meeting Stone could fill out the early game of the deck and get you a two drop, and two drops are also a weak point of the deck. So now you uh, kill two birds with one Meeting Stone! <laughs> The Madman! Hmm... How exciting of an open. Hot! Oh, that one mana card is going to take four mana from the opponent, and I could get two adventurers out of it. Oh man, I never thought about this, but every single adventurer will have a unique voice line. Oh, that's value. Uh, I was about to say, like, on day one, I didn't see a single adventurer, but now we get to be the adventurer. <laughs> it's really uh, showcasing the power of these stones against uh, the opponent who's just hero powering. Adventure. Heat up. Heat up. On the All right, well, wrap it up. Barely meeting Stone OP. Conclusive evidence. No further testing is required. Thirteen, he's at nineteen. Nature waits for no one but me. Heat I will not be rushed. From the shadows. My hand is too full of adventure. You know You fight me, you get burned. You win. Alright, well that was a good match against the punching bag. Let's see what it's like against a real player. Alright, let's rock. And Druid doesn't have any way to take care of this. How many adventures am I going to draw off of the first stone? I think the over-under is on three stones. Three adventures. Is this the wind here? Ooh. Oh. Yeah, decent opening opponent, fine, whatever. 
They're cool. Pretty good. Oh no. Oh no 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 Wait, it's even worse? Oh, for luck, we win again. I only need one shot. Little wizard adventure. Oh. Oh. Always hungry for more. It's feeding time. Blah blah and Canner's flow turn to of course I wasn't going to win blah blah blah. Now we got game. No fear, I have the power of stone. Wait, did you just spend 10 mana in one turn? That's against the rules. Did you just spend 10 mana on turn 6? I don't care about your face damage. Because you are the one that will get faced down first, ya fool. The whales of these cowards chill me. That would have been something if that had Roman Frosto. That would have been something. It'd be slightly better. This takes the counter, if it is. Dodge Ice Barrier and Counter Spell here. You don't pick the walks. Wow. Huh? Cheat. Desperate, not even corrupted. I got this. 
Never be afraid of your inner power. Okay, more spawn will close it out. This mage has run out of tricks. Ah. Okay, he's out of stuff. Ah, it's okay. It's fine. Wow. Um, yeah, I think I'm no longer the aggro deck. I'm a control deck now. Though, I think if I pick Dunk Tank, I win next turn. I think this is actually close. Right, I do win by default, actually. Although... Okay, that wasn't a rigged fair game, which is good. Though if it was, I'd still want the healing instead, I'm sure. One short. For now. Aha! The reprise. Whew! We dealt a lot of damage that game. I actually have not liked Lightning Bloom, so uh, it's on my radar to uh, snip snap. Ooh, finally a Arid Stormer opening. That's pretty good, especially against Shamans. Greetings, friend. <laughs> Lightning Bloom. Uh. Feels bad to draw the Lightning Bloom and not use it. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to use it for this game, but it looked like I, my hand was running out of stuff to spend mana on. To adventure. Oh, well. Well, time for my adventure to collect dividends. Or my stone, rather. Stone is paying out. I think I want to trade to draw down against AoE, which he'll likely have picked. So, we'll trade and not play a spell here. If I imagine he's got AoE, I don't have a board. Pick the uh, independently good one. about the next turn um 16 damage yeah that's a lot save the bloom to burst hmm 
Oh, 21 health. No problem. Yeah, I might have to deal with the one drop. I guess I'd use portal for that. Ooh. That's a start. This stone has actually been pretty good. Uh, although here I think I'll go for the temps instead. Or maybe stone still. Nah, this one. Snowballs. Firestone. I wanted to. I could play everything, but I want to play the Arid Stormer next turn. I think that's better. Yeah, that's better. Although if I had played everything, I could have played the Adventurer next turn. Maybe that would be better. Yeah, secure the board first, then play all the stones. Help! I can't hold all these one cost cards. Can it beat the power of Meeting Stone? I think not. Nice, three drop. Would you just call me a peon? That's the rock. Probably mostly irrelevant. Unless they discover a landslide. Go, go, adventurers. That was a very weird pass. I think he thought that the stone wasn't worth using a rock biter weapon on. I will not be rushed. Maybe some lightning blooms in the hand also? That's a really specific call to make. Because I'm a little bit afraid of AOE, yeah, I will just leave it at that. Because it just doesn't make much sense why he has nothing. Even though AoE like makes no sense for that though. Passing also made no sense. Okay, I think that proves he didn't have AoE? Or it was a big sign that he didn't have it. card that I guess made sense to be in his and didn't wasn't he at seven mana in the past? Wouldn't you have played that card on seven? Or was he on the six mana pass? Oh maybe he had to overrun. I forgot, perhaps.
Get out of my way. What a day for a backstab. Thinking about like the amount of burst he could have because uh he would have those types of cards. So rock rock a strike. 22 damage, 28 damage. For my lord. I don't think I attacked. You owe me. From the shadow. I think if I had one less health I would have traded. Could you repeat that? I'll write that down. Okay, it's 28. And a bolt? Hopefully not. Ugh. I recently actually saw that, uh, that Breaking Bad Hank meme where he calls Walt. A sus baka. Don't lie to me, Walt! That's so awesome. Sussy baka! Oh, hey, it's that, uh. I was playing this deck. See how that works. Now this is the true punching bag game. Take shelter. Punch, punch, punch. Or they do the ridiculous thing. Russia, Russia, Russia! Dummy. You're not gonna be in a spot where if you play the uh thing you're going to win. It's too much damage, and then you can't catch up. Oh poor Druid! <laughs> oh. oh in time. Good effort. Alright, uh, I'm not a big fan of Lightning Bloom. I would much rather be studious. Not that one. <laughs> Druid. Oh. Wait, token Druid scary. So it's either haha <laughs> Druid or ooh, scary Druid. Okay. Easy game? Well, then the question is do I want to like spend a turn on Meeting Stone or do I want to just push the 2 2 out right now? The Meeting Stone will get me a lot of adventures. The Menacing Nimbus will get me quite a number of damage though. And I'm going to go 2 and then 3, which means playing this will get me at least 4 damage. Probably at least 6 damage. And I don't know when I'll ever have the time to play these. So I guess I'll coin out the, uh... For my stone. This isn't the time for Dr. Stone. It's actually a decent, uh, pick. The opponent kept most of his hands, so he probably has Wild the Grove. He does not want a hero power here. Uh, we might laugh at Rock Rager, but this might be one of the best Ragers I could have gotten. Best elementals. It's a 5 attack for 2 mana. Dang.
Beard was scared. scary. You might actually be able to play the uh, Celestial here and then... What would I do against Celestial? Oh, I'd play Colossus. Yeah, that's really good. And if he doesn't play Celestial, then we just develop boards and then he loses eventually. Oh, wow, it's similar. Kind of like how Lightning Bloom uh, Celestial is bad. If I play Doomhammer and play Celestial, I have to skip the turn. It's kind of rough. Hadn't thought about that interaction. Stone. Man, the Celestial Druid is just such a punching bag. And basically, you have to win on this turn. Pretty hard. Not impossible. Ah, nature stud. Oh, okay, that's not it. Not at all. Well, I mean, that's basically it. it. Means you can only play one spell. Wow. Wall Druid. Really good hand. One mana, three, three. think yes because uh you know two mana deal three exists yeah skull studies exist but that's next turn problem In this case, the School Spirits doesn't have any effect. Like, I killed this, but it'll already be a 1-1, one, one, whatever. Room is kinda weird. Far of lethal. Yup. That's the sad thing about kindling elemental, though. 
if I play it, it's like I just played a zero mana one two. No, it's like I played a one mana one two, but all right. There's like there's some small chance that I'll top deck five out of twenty six. One in five that I top deck something relevant or Arid Stormer. So that becomes like seven in twenty six. Uh, I'd probably play Marsh Spawn if it came up. The nine in twenty six. It's like one in three. And then maybe a random elemental gets me something I can play. I just hate losing the discount. My discount! I had no idea Lightsteed was an elemental. Crap, what was the fifth one? Nature. What a lame element, nature. Air. No, that was wind. Windfire. My Windfire, Earth, Nature. Spirit? Windfire. Oh, I didn't say water that time. Uh, do we ever have to kill Samuro? That's a protects my stone. So the stone isn't uh, threatened by a 1 4. Oh, uh, yeah, Rakara possible. Interesting pets. Next turn is going to be a big deal for him. Based combat is going to be ending very, very soon. Cool. There it is. Would you repeat that? But thank goodness we have diligent note taker here. If I can copy its work. Wait, this is so much better than lightning bolt. Threaten in 16 damage. I can actually get through Sword Eater. I can deal 5 to it. That's pretty sweet. Blurst. <laughs> 